what you are about to see is for the most part true, yet may be too unsettling for most viewers to accept. So be on notice. Take a trip with me now to a simpler time when the United States and the United Nations were inspecting for weapons of mass destruction. President George W. Bush was making his case for war and protesters around the world filled the streets in record numbers. something nice, more politically correct. Hey, boy. Daddy! <laughs> what are you boys playing? Political lizards. Hey. Aren't you that malt liquor guy? Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> it's got to go to college sometime. Sure. You ready to go, buddy? Yep. it to me and I turned it down. What? I wasn't put on this earth to pimp malt liquor or play some dude in some dumb action movie. I played Othello off Broadway. But daddy, the money. If they want me to do it, they're gonna have to pay me a lot more than what they offer. And I think they will. All right. I'm going to get a Game Boy Advance SP. I'm going to get this car fixed. Shh. Damn it. What is it? We're out of gas. Damn, damn. Two gallons. Gas is ridiculous. No fun boy! 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 Bombing campaign against Iraq. The 
military plans to drop between 300 and 400 cruise missiles in the first 24 hours of the attack. The aim is to cause such shock and awe. You know, somebody should just bump off Saddam Hussein, and then we won't have to go to war and have a million people die. Well, it's not that easy just to go to Iraq and shoot Saddam Hussein. How hard can it be? Very hard. I used to be in special ops, and I can tell you, it's not easy. Besides, killing people is a bad thing to do. I heard there was a million dollar reward. Have a good day, my man. Okay. And tell your mom I said hi. All right. See ya. Hey, Eddie. How's the uh, travel been? <laughs> Terrible. Not a good time to be a Middle Eastern travel agent. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're interested in going for spring break, I can get you tickets. Real cheap. Uh, I couldn't afford it anyway. Come on, 90 days, same as cash. Come on, buy now, pay later. I'll let you know, okay? Hello? You fucker! Harold? You just screwed yourself. And me too. I mean, wait a minute. If this is about the project, I'm negotiable. It's just that I don't always want to be playing these stereotype characters. You know, I played Othello off Broadway. I know. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Marty's Malt Liquor. Marty's Malt Liquor? W what are you talking about here? Have you seen the paper? I got it right. Have you seen the paper? No, that, that is not what was happening. Well, Marty, of the famous Mark Liquor, is suing you for $10 million. That's ridiculous. He wants to see both of us this morning, and I told him we'd be there. That much is clearly spelled out in section eight of your contract, and section 11 of your contract specifically stipulates that you, as the spokesperson, shall not say or do anything that would potentially harm the reputation of Marty's Malt Liquor. You had me dressed up like a pimp. John, you are not helping. Let's call this a clean break. No, if you're gonna fire me, you're at least gonna have to pay me the rest of what you owe me. Your contract is null and void. Man, this is just... just... Effective immediately. You okay? You got some dough, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm on. You want to reconsider the action movie off? No. Okay. 